I'm gonna shoot it five rounds, going kind of quickly, and just see how it groups on target. So I have a treat for you guys today. This is a Wilson CQB black over gray armor cuff in nine millimeter. Check out those barrel hood flutes. If you can see them, They're just really nicely done. Okay. We're just going to walk through this pistol, um, kind of front to rear. I picked this up from a gentleman and he's kind of quickly become a friend. Uh, this particular CQB, I had one before. Uh, this one's set up a little differently. We're going to talk about how it's set up, okay? We're going to start at the front, work our way to the rear. Pistol is completely unloaded and clear. Safe direction is that way, okay? So as we start at the front, obviously you'll notice it's got a standard length guide rod, no full length guide rod there. The muzzle is flush cut and reverse crowned. Get a good look at that. Really nicely done. They did a very nice job there. As we put our finger in the muzzle, don't freak out now. There's no play between the muzzle and the bushing. No play between the bushing and the actual slide itself. The slide to frame has very, very little play. I mean, it's almost not able to be felt, to be frank. Front sight is a fiber optic front sight. Now, I would have set this gun up a little bit differently, but realistically, nowadays, um, with all the really nice uh, defensive pistols on the market. These single stack 9mm 1911s really become a game gun. Um, so that's, that front sight makes a lot of sense. They did the uh, 40 LPI top strap. Again, very cleanly done. Sorry about that. Uh, very cleanly done. It is very smooth. Hopefully you can get a good listen to this. Okay. It's not like a less bear where you got to break it apart, right? You just, they just come right. Like I've said before, very smooth pistol. Okay. The rear sight is their standard blacked out battle sight rear. You notice the rear of the slide is very nicely fit. They do fit this to the frame. So there's nothing protruding, or sticking out or looking weird. All right. The trigger on this is exceptionally clean. Okay, it's right around three and a half pounds. Let's see if we can get a good look at that. A little bit of a wall, super smooth. Really, really crisp, really clean. Okay. Reset is nice and short. Super clean trigger. Probably one of the cleanest I've ever felt. Okay, right around three and a half pounds. You've got front and rear serrations, okay, obviously. Wilson Combat billboard on the side. All bulletproof parts, so bulletproof slide stop, bulletproof safety. This is a single-sided safety. I would traditionally set my guns up with an ambi, but beggars can't be choosers, and when you find them second market for um, a decent price, you know, you let some things go. Front strap checkering is 30 LPI. Okay, take a look at that. Hopefully you get a good, clear video there, all right? Very nicely done. High cut front strap as well. All right. You've got the magazine well, and it is very nicely blended. There's no sharp edges. You can't feel any discernible difference between the frame and the actual magazine well. They do a very nice job there. Okay. Beaver tail is exceptionally well fit. Let me take a look at that. That is just really, really nicely done. Very smooth. Any sharp edges, the bottom of the uh, slide, front and rear of the slide, everything's been broken. It's very nicely done. Uh, you know, what more is there to say? It's a Wilson Combat, and they have consistently uh, been putting out really, really nice stuff for a very long time. And, um, you know, I'm just really happy to have, um, you know, a couple in my stable, right? If you guys have any questions about them, um, let me know, man. We're going to get out and shoot this one. Probably go out tomorrow, get some video of that, and uh, see how it shakes out. Till next time.